What's up guys, this is Lord Aizen, welcome back to my channel. Now that the Moro arc is over and we've been teased that a new warrior that is even more powerful than Goku will be born, I thought I'd look back and see who are the strongest fighters in Dragon Ball Super so far. This will be a bit tricky since the manga and the anime use different power scales, so I'll try to include both. Also, I won't be using power levels to scale the characters, since they are beyond ridiculous at this point, so instead, I will give each of them a power score on a scale from 1 to 100, 100 being 1% suppressed wiss. The first character that I'm going to start with is Goku, but not because he is the weakest, but instead because he's the character that all other fighters are scaled from. So, in the anime post-tournament of power, Alter Instinct Goku would be a 20, while Complete Alter Instinct would be a 40. For the manga post mirrors training, Alter Instinct would now be a 30, and Complete Alter Instinct is 60 on this scale. Next up, we have the Prince of All Saiyans, Vegeta. In his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution form from the Tournament of Power, he is only a 2. However, now in the manga, post yard rat training, his power has increased, so he is now a 3 in blue evolution, and while using the force spirit fission technique, it's said that he has surpassed tournament of power alter instinct Goku, so he should be around a 30. Next is Broly, who in his Super Saiyan form alone was more powerful than Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta, and I'd place him even slightly above blue evolution, so he's easily a 2.5. However, in his Super Saiyan full power, he skyrockets to a 25. Next is the first fusion on this list, Vegeta. In his Super Saiyan form he was slightly above Super Saiyan Broly, so I place him at a 3. Once he transforms into Super Saiyan Blue, Broly can't land any hits on him anymore, so his power is now around a 60. Next is Jiren the Grey. I want to start by saying, that I am not a Jiren fan, and I know that some of you prefer Broly over Jiren, but I'm scaling him off of Tournament of Power Goku. In his full power form he easily dominated 3rd Omen Ultra Instinct Goku, so that means he is around a 30. In his Beyond Limits, Hidden Power form, he was pretty on par with Complete Alter Instinct Goku, but he still lost due to power of friendship, so I'll place him at a 39.6. Now, if Jiren kept training to surpass Goku, and he unlocked Alter Instinct by the Morwar, he would hypothetically be at least around 75 by now. However, that's just my head canon, and not based on official feats or statements. Next is the most powerful goat in the galaxy, Moro. After having his original power restored, he was on par with Tournament of Power Ultra Instinct Goku, and by using magic, he was able to defeat and almost kill Goku, so his power score would be a 20 sans magic and a 30 with magic. After he absorbed 7-3, his power increased all the way up to a 45. And that's not all, after copying Miris' abilities, his power grew yet again, however, since he wasn't able to control Ultra Instinct, his power would be below complete Ultra Instinct Goku, so around a 55. If he was able, however to control the new angel power, he should have been around a 67.5. Next is Vegito, the second most powerful fusion on this list, and that's strictly because during the Goku Black arc, Goku and Vegeta were weaker than in the Broly movie, otherwise, he would have the same exact power score as Gogeta. So, Goku Black arc Super Saiyan Vegito is a low 1.5, while his Super Saiyan Blue form is a 15 on this scale. Next up is Merge Sumasu. In his base form he is pretty weak for this scale, so I won't include that, however in his mutated form, his power increases to a 10. As for his infinite or abstract form, we know that Goku had to call Sino to deal with him, so I place him at a 100 on this scale. Next is Wuss's little brother, Mirus. As a galactic patrolman, without full access to his angel powers, he was still more powerful than Ultra Instinct Goku in 7-3 Absorbed Moro, so he should be around 50. However, with unrestricted access to his angel powers, he would be a 500. As for his reborn version, we don't know yet how strong he is, or if he even has any more powers, so I'll let you decide that. Next we have everyone's favorite god of destruction, Beerus. If we go by the anime, it is heavily implied that complete Ultra instinct Goku, and beyond limits Jiren has surpassed him, so based on that, I place him at 35 in him full power. In the manga, however, after complete Ultra Instinct Goku had troubles in defeating Planet Moro, Beerus was about to intervene, and end it quickly, so if we assume that Beerus wasn't just about to use Hakai since Manga Goku knows that too, and we scale from that statement, Beerus would be at around 70 on this scale. And the last character, who doesn't really even count, is Whis. Some fans like to believe that complete Ultra Instinct Goku now is close in power to Whis or other angels, but I'm against that. It's just like when we thought that, when Goku first achieved Super Saiyan God, he was close to Beerus in power, same here. As of now, Wiz can take on all the characters on this list at once, and not even break a sweat. In his suppressed 1% power state, he is a 100 on this scale, so 10% would be 1000 and 100% full power Wiz would be a 10,000. I think that power gap between angels, and mortals or gods of destruction is pretty safe for now. What do you think, do you agree with my scale, or do you believe, that Goku is angel tier now? 
Whatever your thoughts, feel free to politely comment them down below. Till next time, peace.